Hi, it's Zoom from Zoom Selling Therapy. There are many ways to hem pants, and I'd like to share with you one technique that I use, um, not just for pants, but also for skirts as well. Um, I have forgot to include the cutting part, so I've included um, some written instructions that you can pause and watch. Um, after that, you're going to finish the edges. Uh, this will keep the fabric from fraying. Um, you can use pinking shears, you can serge the edges, you can use a zigzag stitch. Um, here I'm using an overcast stitch um, on my sewing machine. Um, that's what it looks like and um, with a, uh, an overcast foot. Um, and after that, I'm going to press up uh, half an inch. Uh, this is a uh, two inch hem. Um, and making sure that the side seams and the permanent uh, creases in the front and back of the pants match. And after that, I'm going to uh, fold up one and a half inches uh, each time, making sure that the side seams and the permanent creases match. Because otherwise, the, uh, the pants um, will look really weird um, when you wear them. So, um, and it's best to kind of take it slow at this point. Um, so when you start sewing, like everything will uh, match up and the pants will look really um, nice and clean and professional looking. Um, and after that, I've gone ahead and uh, pinned it all the way around so everything kind of stays put. Um, I don't want it warping, moving anyways when I'm um, hand stitching, um, making sure that everything matches. Um, and then get a matching thread with needles. Um, and then I like to begin um, by stitching from the inside and uh, leaving a little tail. Um, for some reason, I went ahead and cut the tail off after double knotting it, but um, you can just leave the, the tail, um, we still knot it and then leave a, a tail and then stitch it all the way around. And then when you get back to that beginning point, just use that tail uh, to tie it with the remaining thread. Um, and this is my first video tutorial, so please bear with me. Okay, and so here, let's uh, start stitching. Um, so um, basically, uh, inserting the needle about uh, about maybe two eighths of an inch uh, diagonally, and then I'm going to pick up just one two threads. Um, and you know, it sounds really little, but trust me, it'll hold. And if you pick up any more than one two threads, it's going to show on the other side, and it won't look pretty at all. And I've included some close-up shots afterward. Uh, it's a bit hard to see. But yeah, just one, two threads should be fine. And you just repeat it all the way around. You can see a close-up shot of that. And just take it diagonally. And just, uh, I've got two threads on the needle. 